All right, good morning. We uh, are headed out. We've got to go meet the printers they are setting up. We have new printers right now. We have to run down there real quick and uh, make sure everything's all good. So we're doing that. I gotta go, dude. Omar, come on. Omar. I gotta go. Come on. Inside. Go, come on, come on. Go, come on. Dude, let's go. Go, go, go. <sighs> Sophie. All right, I'll be back later. I know, the crazy girl is gone. The crazy girl is gone. T-shirt, T-shirt, quality, control, color, matching, done. Also known as staging. Now I gotta go meet up for this haircut, hopefully. Yo! I don't care whatever you do. Right here's something you don't care. So this is fucking good fun. Yeah, it's cool. I can Did a bit, son. Got me out here looking crazy. Got me out here looking racist. <laughs> Why not? I can't let, can't let a swat motherfucker like me get too loose. I start looking racist. Like he talks, he talks like he's from a place where people are fucking weird. All right, haircut is complete. This box. Let's see what's in it. Let's see what was sent. Canary contest winners. Hopefully you're in the comments of the last vlog. I'll get in touch with you soon. Oh, nice. This is so ill, bro. Holy shit, someone sent me the fucking Topo Chico metal sign. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks, Jesse James. I was looking for, so yesterday I'm making a lot, like a lot of roasted broccoli. Like a lot. A little of meat, meat and veggies. That's what I like. And someone said, hey, my homie, Michael, on Twitter said you should get an air fryer. I was also looking into an Instant Pot. Ninja makes this thing that does all of it. I'm super excited because I want to make some food in it. It's a fucking start. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, smoke some weed, figure out if that got delivered or not, go to the grocery store, get groceries, possibly eat, then come back here and then start drawing. I've been trying to draw. As I said in the last vlog, I had all these days off to draw. It has not happened yet. So far, it's uh, Tuesday. I missed the three days of drawing. So I need to draw the next three days. <laughs> extensively. It's cool. Every time I'm starting a project though, there's all this huge buildup and craziness, like a storm, like a tornado. And there's the call. And that's where the creation happens. All right, let's go. Don't let it go. Oh! Get a little dab of some laser cat. Nap time? Okay. Woo! Got that booty, son! Boom! Foodie. Press your cooker that crisp. Shoe sale is intimate. Been a few days. I've had some time to spend with the remainder of the collection and I think I'm still not done. I think, uh, I, li I like every shoe that is leaving. You know, that's like a given. All these shoes I love. The clothing I still like. I just, I don't want to really represent three strikes. I don't want to, you know? So, uh, not, I can't get rid of it completely. It's like politics, you know what I'm saying? Can't get rid of it completely because there's nothing else. No comforts, but there's probably gonna be a couple more pairs I'm gonna throw in there. Um, not that, I mean, it's whatever. Like I said, I could buy these anytime on StockX. Like, dead stock data washes. They're just here. Am I ever gonna wear them again? Oh, these are 12 and a half, too? That's right, they didn't come in at 13. These definitely are. The Gosha's are the hard ones, man. I really, I love the Gosha. Someone said I should pull the stripes off, but I bet y'all I got glue marks afterward. A lot of white shoes, though. You know, like, this is easy, that easy, that easy. Um, there's other ones. I don't know where they are. Not all of them. Speaking of easies, uh, we've moved. Oh yeah, these. These are good. We've uh, moved into V3s. Well, not technically, but there was a leak. We did a V3 leak. Easy Mafia, A.K.A. Fuel for every blog in the world. Oh, the dogs chewed up some shit. Yeah. So the V3 Easy. Let's take a look on Twitter. I have it on my Twitter in like a couple hours ago. Um, Easy Mafia V3. Alien, which we already saw on Kanye's feet. The on-feet picture of Kanye, I don't like. I, I think it might be the socks. Um, I really don't like the colorway of the alien. My initial thoughts when asked, I don't like the snow camo looking upper. I think it looks like a turtle dove took a poop on the uh, white upper. I don't, I, I'm not a fan. It would look better to me in black and gray, you know, like black with gray from the photos, but I don't, 
I don't love that color. Uh, it looks like it's got a hell of a lot of boost. It almost kind of looks like a Nike Pegasus or like Zoom Zoom Pegasus type without the without the pinnacle point. But it kind of has that same silhouette at the bottom half. It's sort of like an ultra boost mid with like a thinned out. It's like an ultra boost mid with extra boost, thinned out, a little easy DNA, but it's weird, you know? Like, I don't know how I feel about it completely. I wish that this was not the color that we first saw, but whatever. It's always weird. Like, I, I, since this, since the beginning of shoe leaks, I've always disliked leaks. I want to see the product, like, in hand. Um, giving my opinion on what is here, I don't love that colorway. But it does look like it might be comfortable, and it looks like the upper might form to your foot better, which could be interesting. Uh, so I'm interested in it, you know what I mean? I'm not necessarily gonna run out and go grab, but we'll see, who knows? But who, who knows by the time it happens. I would guess for a Christmas release, Thanksgiving, Christmas. My theory with Yeezy, which I don't know how much I'm gonna be buying Yeezys in the future either. I mean, this has boost, so obviously I'm still interested. I do think there's a lot of shoes coming for him that don't have boost. Obviously, I'm trying out new things. I have a pair of Nikes that are going to be here tomorrow. Shout out to StockX. So we'll see. But and I still wear, I wear my 700s a lot or my 500. Yeah, it's interesting to me. I'm pretty stubborn. I really like Boost. I really like the way it feels the best. So for me, the V3 in black will, de I mean, I'll at least get one pair of V3s to try out. Absolutely. And I don't love these early leagues. I just want stuff to come out, bro. I'm sick of waiting on shit. I'm sick of hearing about it. I'm sick of the foreplay. You know, let's just get down to fucking leaks, trailers, snippets. Like, just give me the shit, bro. Just give me, give me the shirt. Just give me the shit. Just give it to me. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. There was a mattress down there. I didn't even know. We gotta clean this out for the washer and dryer delivery. <laughs> Motherfucking spread. I gotta throw this shit away. Figure out how to cook in this new thing. I think this thing's on. Feels like it got hot. Here goes Alex. Wow. The first beef stew in an instant. Oof, I'll be trying a bite. I'll just get the beefy part. Good morning, Omar. Good morning. Good morning. It is fairly early. Oh, I think it's like 8 o'clock. Oh, no. Oh, I think finally, finally, we're gonna be able to go draw and hang out. So I'm gonna head up to the shop and that is the plan today. It's mostly drawing, getting this painting lined out, getting ready for tattoos, Florida stuff, all the shit I have to do uh, before I go. It's gotten really busy, you know, it's like trying to keep up with all the stuff going on has gotten really, I feel good. Like I feel really excited about life. Everything is just like really going really well. So I feel good, but it's really busy. Whew, just trying to keep up with everything. Ugh, and sleep, but I'm getting plenty of sleep. I don't know how long I've been eating <coughs> different. Just like two or three days. After like just two or three days, I already feel better. It's just like what getting old's about, man. You hear that shit your whole life, and you're like, yeah, whatever. You just can't get away with this much, y'all. Oh. It's just like all there is to it. And time is valuable, so let's go uh, utilize it. Before I go, I'm about to, because. This, I'm about to hook this. Me and this foodie, me and this thing, we're about to go on a journey. We're going on a journey together. I'm about to air fry some bacon because I want to know what the deal is with the air frying. So here we go. Air crisp. This thing is fucking crazy. So much more comfortable in here now, I will not lie. Incredible the difference. Break from drawing. Oh, all right. Whew. I said it the other day. It's probably been like a week out of, by now. I've been drawing for most of the day. I had to come back and get the washer and dryer installed today. We got <coughs> new washer and dryer. They're huge. It looks like a fucking like commercial laundromat now. Alex is gonna be super hyped though. And it was uh, you know, I spent like 800 bucks on the washer and dryer which, you know, she was like beside herself about because Alex is super cheap. But at the same time, have this huge shoe sale. So it's like, that's like one pair, you know what I mean? So the trade-off is, uh, you know, it's not that crazy. Like one thing I've learned about spending a lot of money on shoes, uh, it kind of broke what I find to be expensive in the other department. A few years ago, I'd have been like 800 bucks for that shit. Oh my God. Fortunately now, 
Uh, very fortunate. I feel lucky that regardless of all the bullshit I have to go through in this game, I have people like StockX that support me. I have the ability to sell old shoes, which is no problem. I have clothing, which has propelled into a huge thing. It's just like been amazing. So I appreciate it. I try to say thank you as much as I possibly can without coming off like a fucking cornball, but thank you because uh, it's crazy and tumultuous as all this shit is all the time, as much shit as I talk. Life is fun. And before the vlog started, my life was fun, but I definitely hit a lull. I'm super excited about the future. It's just crazy busy right now. But don't worry, the vlog is here to stay. Not even in the vlog right now. All right, StockX. <laughs> this is the first, first Nike I've ever ordered off StockX. I had one sent by accident one time. This is the first time, first Nike box. Now let me just be clear. I still don't like Nike, I don't. I also don't really like Adidas. I really don't like myself for being tricked into thinking that these corporations were anything other than corporate. There's just shit I don't like. A shit that doesn't feel authentic, it's not on the fringe. I knew that when I came in and I tricked myself. Boost being a new technology was super comfortable, so I kind of was drunk off the aroma of Boost. You know, I gave up so much. <laughs> Abner! I gave up so much of, uh, I guess, I let some walls down. I let some things slide, like corporate shit slide. Now that I've seen the corporate cock, <laughs> I, uh, I'm not gonna let that much shit slide. So, I don't like, still don't like, I guess the business end of any of these companies, which is like really where I'm at. Like the business side, not having any link to the creative side, that part to me is where all product kind of seems to fall short, which is why whether I like Kanye West, everything that Kanye puts out or Yeezy puts out or not, no matter what, I appreciate just him being in the fucking arena. It's at least something interesting and something different to look forward to, which I don't know. I don't feel like we get too much of these days at all. This is crazy that this is here. Thumbnail for you, dog. Make sure I'm recording. I said that I would try some different brands that people with over the years have given me so much shit about. So one of the first ones on the chopping block, Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo Gyakasau. Gyakasau. Gyakusa. Gyakasa. Gyakusa. Um, size 13. I don't know anything about, uh, this shoe at all, like at all. Undercover lab, here we are. Like, ooh, smells like mothballs. Ooh, this upper is, does not seem like it's <laughs> The boost is already creased. That shit is narrow, son. It's gonna be a rough ride. Oh Lord. God, these things smell like mothballs. So, I went with these because there's no, well, there's this swoosh, which I didn't know, but this swoosh was, uh, is gone. Well, it's black, so you really can't see it. Some hooks. Oh, whoa, that's kind of cool, actually. Alright. Okay. Ugh. My socks are kind of thick. Let me give these a fair shot. Let me get some thin socks. I mean... I don't hate them. Well, it's definitely not boost, but it does have like a nice little, a slight little bit like bounciness to it. Almost like a seesaw. The upper is like, no, but I like the color block. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I should wear them for a little bit. Hi. Do you want to go see your washer real quick? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so happy. It's like a laundromat down here. I know. I want to get like a table. Yeah. Hold. Tonight I'm about to make some pork chops and some air crisps cauliflower. It's uh not the most beautiful dish in the world. This shit slaps. You can't have any. Really, the best cop so far of the year is the foodie. I'm gonna be cooking at home. This shit tastes great. It tastes great. Like I'm an okay cook. But this takes a lot of the thinking out of it. It's just like the Tesla of food prep preparation. All right, we are back. I was supposed to have a meeting this morning. We'll go back down to the print shop at 10, but they're running a little behind this morning, so I got some extra time to come up here, get more drawing done. I'm gonna test these shoes out for the next, like, couple of hours, too. Which, you know, initial response, really, like, I had to kick these off last night while I was drawing. I haven't had to kick my shoes off drawing, like, sitting around just being like, ugh, get these off, you know? So the upper is definitely not my favorite and not as comfortable. 
as uh, like the stuff that I prefer. And obviously, you know, I know that they're a performance model, so there's certain reasons things are certain ways. It's not like made to be a lifestyle shoe. So my opinion is not to, meant to be an attack. Everybody always gets shit so twisted. It's just what I prefer for what I do, you know what I mean? Like it's how I fit other things into my lifestyle is basically what a vlog is. Oh, sorry too. I accidentally caught a Zoom earlier. I got attacked, bro. I didn't know there was Zoom, Zoom X, Blah, 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 blah. I, you know, we don't do that over at the other company. We just boost, not boost light, boost HD. We don't fuck with all that stupid shit. But uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. we'll see. I'll give you the full breakdown after the jump. From the print shop. We're there for quite a while getting colors matched. It's pretty difficult, to be honest. Like, people think to print a lot of colors, there's a lot of uh, compensation that has to happen. So, Ern's up my ass right now. He doesn't have everything he needs for the shoe sale tonight, all of a sudden. So, uh, which I guess is technically kind of my fault. I have to do a final one more go through here and really see what I'm gonna keep. Because I think I added some more stuff and I didn't tell him. I'm really contemplating this. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm contemplating nice case. I'm having an issue with the blog shit, man. Like, I like Matt Hellfield a lot from the interactions I've had with him, but I don't really know how I feel about some of these other whatevers. I don't know if I'll ever wear these again now. I'm still giving these Nikes a try today, all day today with these. They're okay, like Zoom X. It's just like a teeter. So I see how when you're running, when you're like, I'm sure that this is a great running shoe, but these are, like my foot is starting to hurt, like especially in the heel. It's definitely starting to hurt. And you're not really like, not really down in it. It's almost like you feel like you're on top of this old, all these other shoes, you feel like you're sitting in it a little more. Not really ultra boost, but some of the newer stuff. I'm giving them a shot. Honestly, these. Well, now the longer I spend in here, the less I want any of this shit. There's something that's like snapped in my head. I don't know what the fuck, but like, I love the shoes and all, but there's something going on inside of my brain. Every time I look at one, I'm like, yeah, but am I gonna wear that again? Yeah, you love this one, but are you gonna wear it again? And it's stuff that I really like. It's really difficult all of a sudden. It's just such a stupid problem, like I'm making it up. It's like part of me feels like holding on to shit that I don't need to hold on to. I don't want to do another shoe sale. I just want to like have this be the last one. Take a dab. All right, I gotta be honest. The uh, joint didn't really help, <laughs> or the dab. Came back in here and I went through every colorway and I was like, Teddy, why do you like this shoe? And then I was like, Okay, that's a good reason. And I put it there. I put it there. Then I took the dab. Now I realize all the reasons are completely fucking superficial and stupid. The real reasons that I like it are because of other people mostly. Like some, sh I mean, I like all these shoes. I enjoy the craftsmanship of all of these shoes, but. The problem here, problem that I'm having currently, and this is not, look, this sale, I made a lot of jokes about Adidas and selling all my shoes because of them. It's not, it's not it. It's just material things right now are, I don't know. Literally, man, ever since Trey died, shit in my head is not the same. You know, like, not in a bad way, but just like something in my head just flipped, you know, and I, uh, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm fucking confused. Because what happens is a lot of this becomes a part of your identity. You know, you like tell yourself shit as to why you can't get rid of certain things. But you can. You can get rid of all this shit if you want to. If you don't need it anymore and it's not serving you, it's fine. And it's really not serving me. I like going into places and having new shoes, but nobody needs as many shoes. I was very fortunate for many years to just have all this shit, but... It's like, how much of me wants to keep this pair of shoes? These, because I like this colorway. How much am I gonna wear them now? Like I wore the shit out of them. How much am I gonna wear them now? And how much of me keeps them because I've said how many times this was my favorite easy? Same thing with this one, you know? And then it just goes down the line. More and more shit gets made. More and more shoes come out. Stock X exists. At any time I can go back and buy one of these. So what if I just keep it to like three pairs of shoes? Two pairs even. And then I just go on Stock X whenever I want a new pair. You know? That's just the whole new cycle all over again though. Dude, I'm fucked. I have literally mind fucked myself into a fucking corner. I'll be back. I don't know what to do. Ern is waiting. These, these are going in the shoe sale. They're okay, but I'm not ever gonna wear them again. And I've tried them out. I'll give you this full review rundown here in a second. Uh, I added a lot more shoes. This is basically, I think, what's left. I'm still kinda, each one of these shoes now is where it started. I love these pairs. 
a little weird, but it's white. These are the Yeezys I think I like. Having a dilemma with the breads because I really, really think the clear stripes are way more comfortable. Yeah, they are actually. Get the fuck out of here. These can go. Got an extra set of glows on deck. So these are fucking wrecked. Look at the fucking difference. Uh, clays. Really like this colorway, like a lot. Nerds, gift. Pay homage to the homies that helped me through a lot of this shit. Also saying Packer is keeping because helped me out through a lot of this. Harder to acquire. I guess some would call grails, even though I'm not a sports guy. I find the irony to be hilarious. On completely superficial reasons, so it's funny. These are the color tones I think I like the most. This is it. One mid remains. Dead stock, ready to go. I love these for the snow. Nice kicks I am still debating because I really am not into this ultra boost and part of me makes me want to get rid of those too because they're like ruining the lineage of it in my opinion gosha i love the gosha i might try to get the stripes off free hiker uh i love the shoe the black pairs outside are completely wrecked so i don't know those are probably staying because they're just destroyed these are great uh best shoe that's come out in a while more comfortable than anything so they'll probably get more colors of those yeah i think this is good i think we're at a good place i wear these more often than i thought i would all right we're good there's not a lot of stripes oh these are my beaters i don't think anybody wants to buy these <laughs> Which is the only reason they're not in the sale. It's a pretty beat, but I would let them go. Just, you know what? Put them in the sale for like almost nothing. So I can clean them. They're dirty. They're not great. Um, the cushioning is pretty comfortable, but it's just really, really firm. And it's two different firmnesses. So it's definitely comfy and like hits you with a stride. Like it gives you that little stride. The shoe is really light too, but a little stride. But it's nice the way it kind of, it, literally like a little rocking horse. You know what I mean? Which is great if you're running, but casually, no good. Uh, I don't love it. You know, it's fine for walking around and bouncing around and shit for a little bit. But after a while, dude, it definitely hurts. It hurts more in the mid for me because this is super narrow. And it doesn't really necessarily feel narrow when I put it on but after a little while my foot is just super constricted in this upper it just doesn't move so it's just kind of crammed in there you know like ultra boost or knit uppers you can kind of slide around and there's a little more uh, just room altogether the entire shoe has this sort of teardrop shape like the end which I don't really hate I used to hate it in pictures a lot I don't hate that look like the protrusion Intrusion. But everything is shaped like that. Like this whole shit does a teardrop shape. So it just the way it hugs the back of your foot for me isn't super comfortable. It reminds me of um, other super technical running shoes like the Adidas one. I can't remember the name of right now. Uh, what is that shit called? I got those Adi Zero ones a while back. Oh yeah, Adi Zero. That's what it's called. But yeah, I don't love them. They're not amazingly comfortable. They're definitely not Boost. But I can see why some people like these better than Boost for running. The lockdown in this upper is that you're definitely locked and loaded and ready to go. So I totally get it for its function. It's just not, it's just not for me. You know what I mean? Um, and there's things that I don't love about it, like the branding. I look, I really like the colorway. You know, I really like the colorway. I hate the swoosh. Even if I do find a fucking Nike shoe that I want to wear and like, I'm probably going to remove the logos. Again, I don't love it, but I can definitely see why some people do. Definitely has some cool little like, sh like this little super lightened out tongue is super cool. It's just not. It's just not for me, man. Extremely true to size, though, if you're wondering. Like, extremely. Very fitting. So I'm selling these in the sale today, too. Oh, and some people were saying, like, oh, you only get the hype shit, but you only get the hype shit. First, I got these below retail on StockX, so they may have been hype when they came out. But like everything else, hype lasts for about fucking 40 two hours these were under retail and the gr pairs look awful bro like it's like some shit that your mom will wear the day she started working out like right before right after new year's like mm, i'm gonna finish the rest of this pecan pie and then i'm gonna start my gym regiment you know like it's bullshit them shits are ugly as fuck they might be more breathable and they might function better but they're ugly these look better i'm not i'm not settling for uh settling anymore you know i came through the storm on shoes we saw ultra boost kind of come up phase 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 and now i don't even think ultra boost is the most comfortable thing from adidas so shit changes but these these gotta go these cannot stand i'll keep trying different stuff but i might try different things just to see if anything compares. So far, very small, much smaller collection that I have. By far the most curated my collection has been. And a lot of stuff I'm letting go I really, really like, but just gotta move on, dog. And you know, fuck promoting the shit out of Adidas everywhere I go for people that aren't even gonna be nice to me, you know? For those of you that think that don't understand the story and think that I want an apology for Adidas for no reason or Adidas to man up for no reason, um, you don't, you're not paying attention. You're just, you're living out your own story via your frustration with me. You need to get over your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Get over your bullshit. It's gonna help you out. This package showed up in the mail today. 
angels and airways ah uh, this is the product store okay i know what this is this is stuff that i can get made i got it all right so we're waiting on german iron footage we will not get till tomorrow he told me he has like no internet it happens and i gotta get back to the shop and draw but actually i need to go to the dispensary and my dumbass let my med card expire so i gotta go buy wreck just the way the cookie crumbles in the jungle i got so much going on before i go to tokyo i just didn't give a fuck about getting it renewed hello sorry don't mean to, I don't mean to bother you, sir. From the dispo, green dot. Good morning, it is now Friday. We have like days and days of footage because it's been so busy. Editing is something that has not taken place. Oh, fuck. Shoe sale was last night. Everything is gone. There's like a couple of pairs left. I'm sure they'll go soon enough. Clothing will be next week. And the actual clothing, like new clothing, the brand drop is tomorrow. Waiting on Brandy and then we gotta go grab the box and finally 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 be working on the meta god painting all next week like i have all next week blocked off until the 26th so i have until the 26th to finish that bitch 27th i'm tattooing and pretty much from the 27th on it's fucking it's turn bro yeah we're gonna tattoo this hoji bead i don't even know if that's how you say it hoji bead hoji hoji bead but japanese bead buddhist bead some buddha beads <laughs> I guess there's a secret elevator. You have to find room 103 on any of the floors, and then across from it is the elevator, which is strange. A few people in 103 that just have heavy pool traffic all day. Note to self, don't recommend that room. Next time me and Teddy come to Budapest, because we're coming to Budapest. You better believe we're coming to Budapest. This place is awesome. I had a great time yesterday. Today's going to be a good time. Other, my only suggestion, maybe the robes could be a little bigger. Good morning, see ya. The pool, pool, swimming, uh, down, oh, it is down here. Oh, this is it, this is it. Okay, thank you, uh, curse on them. I lift, Royal Spa, in my Royal Spa robe, ready to go. It seems, oh, this pool is sick. the border. We are headed to the ferry and I'm going to show you what a real English breakfast looks like. I think it's kind of disgusting, but I got to eat something. Here we are on the ferries. We came from France, although we weren't in France. That's just where it's just where the ferry takes off. You can't stand the bus in the ferry. They lock this whole thing down and I don't know, God forbid the ship goes down and you're you're under here, you're fucking finished. So we are in line for a traditional English breakfast, which honestly is disgusting. Some of it is a little weird. I'm gonna, oh, there's other food too. Or maybe I'll get something else. Ooh, it's got a burger. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Who doesn't want breakfast rules? No, not in, not in the United Kingdom, dude. Not in the U of K. So we're headed out to see the water. We're halfway to England right now. I don't know, check out the views. Also, got to pass to the uh, driver's lounge where I'm going next. Yep. Oh, Routemasters, they have their own restaurant too, dude. They have their own casino. Man. Is there like lounge Look. lizards in there? Yeah. Like in <laughs> lounge <laughs> lizards, like creepy fucking. <laughs> How is it out there? Is it cold? We got shorts on. Oh, it'll cool you. You like the cold. Let's just for well, a second. Let's not get crazy. Oh, no, it's not cold at all. <laughs> no. Cliffs of Dover. These are some famous cliffs, if you can hear me. So yes, we are. These are the famous white cliffs of Dover, and they're just big white cliffs that are famous. Actually, not staying here. We're going to Canterbury, home of the Canterbury Tales, not to be confused with Cadbury and the Cadbury Egg.
Canterbury, England. And these were the old walls around the city that were built to keep people out, keep the Normans in. Is this true or am I just spouting things? It's more fun if, you, if you're nonchalant about your facts. They don't have to be true. Okay. If you say it with enough conviction, people will believe you. Okay, well, these walls were put here to keep pirates out back in the 1600s. Now, they're used for tourism. The bus will pull over as it can't make it through these thin streets anymore. That? We'll have to take a horse and carriage to get to where we're headed. I honestly don't know if I even recorded any of that. <laughs> Yeah, and buy weed. Both in one spot. Yeah, so basically, word on the street is that trees are pretty easy to get here in Canterbury and then everyone smoked. Whoa. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? It's a bath of baths right there. Looks like a little metal chip in it, but uh, we're out here. I don't know how to open that. This is insane. Yo, really hooked this one up in Canterbury. This is an old, old city. I can, uh, I'm gonna run out into the hall real quick just to show you guys like the, the whole vibe of this hotel. They got this cathedral lounge in here. They have all this spacious area. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know you would think it's a clock, but no, that's the music it plays. How do you get it to play it? Musical box. Drop a penny in the slot. Oh, please. Doesn't look like it works. Have to find a real penny maybe. Look at this lounge. All right, I've actually got laundry to do. I am going to do that first. Then we're gonna explore this city. All right. We're out here in Canterbury. It's the Chronicles of Ernia. As we head into a city like you've never seen before. Oh yeah, the headless statue. I don't know, I thought this would be an exciting walking the streets vlog, but it's, it's rainy, there's not a ton going on, uh, and then I'll go get wasted How about that, because that isn't the plan. I'll do it, I'll do it for y'all, but remember, this is not for me, it's for you all. And you, Teddy, because I love you, man. I miss you out here, and I'll be home in four days. Then we're gonna fucking take this world over. It's native music. <laughs> it might be. So do you suggest like this, or the roast? Is yeah, that okay? Would you rather not? Okay. I'm not supposed to be filming, so we'll be back. I didn't get drunk, unfortunately. Sorry, I let you all down, especially after that speech. I almost forgot that I even said it, which would have been funny because I'm always saying things out of context. So didn't get drunk, got some work done. I did, honestly, I didn't have time to get drunk. I have to put all these fucking shoes in and these internets in these countries. But we're in England, so it's usually pretty good. But man, internet in this hotel, and this is one of the nicer hotels I've stayed in, but the internet itself is brutal. Uploading some shoes, but honestly, I needed the rest. I need to just chill around here. I don't need to be out too much. Good news is I did cop some trees. This was uh, 50 pounds. Why does my touch screen? I'll be right back. God damn. So, it's nothing spectacular, but it's good enough. Yo, for out here, this is good. It's clean, no seeds, no stems, a little bit sticky, really can't complain. Got this Amsterdam grinder, not in Amsterdam, but roll it up raw style. Soul Tour's been pretty cool. There's three days left. Tomorrow we play Arctangent Prague Rock Festival and two back-to-back -back shows, the last one being sold out in Southampton. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna turn this footage. Give it the old dirty iron roll. It's a grueling trip, just non-stop. It's like non-stop, you know, other guys get days off, but I'm out here grinding, you know what I'm saying? All right, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm delirious. Fuck. I really feel tired. Back out into the streets of, I just wanna make sure I have everything. My wallet, my wallet. Goodbye, sweet room. I wish I could have slept in this bed. Never know, the nicest bed on tour. I didn't even get to sleep in it. Oh, these. I got cookies and milk section here for free. Oh, I was so tired. Okay, back into this hallway. I have everything. Time. I'm freaking myself out here. Cause I got the camera. I don't want to lose anything. There's nothing in the bathroom. The counter. <sighs> Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. And back to the bus we go. Too late to catch a fade. That's my bedroom up there. Is it really? Just don't, don't be focusing on that. <laughs> that's so funny. Is it? You live right here though? Yeah, man? Oh, that's fucking cool. 
This is such a beautiful town. Punk venue in Canterbury. Really? This is the last remaining punk venue uh, in Canterbury? This from New Orleans, as you well know. Yeah. Played here two weeks ago. And then this is the only place we still get it down here. That's really cool. Yeah. Do you run it or you just happen to live here? I run a studio in the area. Oh, really? And I play drums for a living. Oh, nice. Every one of these places is just so cool looking. And actually, the guy who works at the ramen spot is the guy who put me on. Oh, this is it. I'm headed the right way. Okay, it just looks a little darker. It's all like old castle type things. All right, so I'm, I'm completely lost, I think. I honestly think I went the exact opposite direction that I was supposed to. I am so lost. These streets, the street signs here are up there, like where it says the Friars, but that street is going this way. This street is a different street name. We'll find it. It's all for this one B-roll shot. Might not even, might not even matter, honestly. But, uh, a little bit. Right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, man. I fucking love the accent. <laughs> Fight someone back there? Is yeah, it's mate, it's Canterbury. <laughs> Always. It looks like fantasy land here, and people are out here brawling. These are my friends that I met. I got lost. They took me to, to I was gonna do a pig fucker. Yeah. But <laughs> it's the story sharp. behind They're the pig sharp. fucker is that a woman walked in, and the bartender said that she had a face like a pig, but the other bartender fucked her, so they called her a pig fucker. That's, and, and they that's named the started, drink man. after. That's the only place. So what is there. the actual drink? Nobody knows. Oh, it's, no, a it's a secret. secret. Way. Oh. No, there's vodka in there. There's that vodka, is... Bacardi, cranberry juice, yeah. pineapple juice, oh, soda shit. water. Kira. Kira. Becky. Kira and Becky. We're gonna have one drink and then I'm finding my way back yeah. to the bus because <laughs> I gotta get home. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm getting the full tour. This is so nice. This wouldn't happen in New York, I don't think. Nah, you know, this. I went to New York sure. and everybody was scary. Scribbled. Oh yeah. And that's where all the archaeological digs that have happened in Canterbury have been marked out. Really? Oh, 1814. All the significant ones have been yeah. marked out on the tiles. Wow. And what did they pull out of here? Bodies, castles, parts of the different bits. Oh shit. Man, it is so cool out here. Everything's so old. This is really cool. I'm glad I ran into you. <laughs> Interesting night. Um, I met some new friend, had a drink or two, had a fucking fishbowl. Back on the bus, I gotta finish working. Wasn't expecting to really meet anyone or do anything. I actually went out to get B-roll. I guess life is what it is and that was really fun. It's nice to meet different people from different places in the world. That's it. Oh!